the pine cone hi everybody this is christy i am the intimate warrior i thank you so much for stopping by and as always i send you love a while back i took a picture of a set of pine cones because i was seeing pine cones and i was given the lotus that's associated with the pineal gland so that is the relationship with the pine cone, the pine cone or penal gland trans, um, is translated into pine. Pine. And that's where the name for the penal gland comes from, or pine cone, excuse me. A closed penal gland indicates an individual that cannot perceive clearly and many of us have had closed penal glands very limited in mind of course means we're limited in heart there are many stages of the pine cone and in the image that I have I don't have a few of these stages I definitely don't have a green or a young pine cone because now we are in the in summer there are none available so I just want you to understand that there are pine cones that are missing through these stages and this is the process through the stages of your awakening I want to begin first before I further explain opening up your pineal gland too soon before you are actually ready for it can, can harm you. And this is not to frighten you, but there are a lot of people who are trying to decalcify their pineal gland prior to doing the work within. That's how it becomes harmful because you're not learning anything in the process. You're kind of like crashing a party. You didn't receive an invitation to the party. You decided to just go. You might be allowed to go ahead and stay at this party because, well, these people that who are having the party are not rude. But again, you might be asked to go. But regardless, you're there at the party, you're functioning and people are still in acceptance of you but there's a difference between receiving an invitation and then crashing the party difference you both are still at a party at the same function but one was asked one was not so that's the difference when it comes to decalcifying your penal gland if you are an individual who decides to do it that way, and there's no judgment how an individual decides to do this, no judgment at all, one's an easy path, one's a difficult path. Yet, even on that easy path, if you are taking something to open up your pineal gland almost instantly, you might think it's an easier path, but in all actuality, the the quick opening of the pineal gland causes internal trauma you begin to see and witness things prior to your readiness which can begin the process of closing the pineal gland or not really closing the pineal gland because once it's open it is open and i guess i guess you can close it i don't know um, by choice you can actually set the intention and it will be closed again um, but it begins with affecting your heart and then higher states of consciousness if you are not ready to receive what you are witnessing what you are seeing within the mind's eye the pineal gland is important because the pituitary gland cannot truly see without the pineal gland's assistance Yet, in our process of building the bridge, 
we need the antikarana. That's how your lessons come into play. When you learn your lessons by consciously working towards yourself, your divine being, you are building that antikarana, the rainbow bridge that helps link up your spiritual bodies and bring them back into your body when it is time. So in the process of becoming truly awakened, that very last pine cone that is fully open, where finally light can come through and illuminate the mind's eye, you have the stages of awakening a young pine cone that's green, not even ready to open at all. And then there's going to probably come another much lighter green between green and brown pine cone. And then the brown pine cone is still fully shut. Then it begins to open ever so slightly. And then ever so slightly more, and ever so slightly more, and more, until it is finally open. And your mind is open. Your heart is open. You have complete clarity. Balance has been developed within you. Unity exists now within you because you have taken the time, that lengthy time, and I'm using lengthy here as my wording, not to deter you from how long of a time frame that it may take you from the time of your awakening to the end of your awareness to until you are connected fully because this time frame can go by as quickly or as slowly depending on how well you are being mindful and aware of your life lessons how much time like i mentioned in yesterday's video chronos the true time frame of dedication to the spirit self not the time or chronos that is created by man stillness of the mind and of the heart gets you towards your end cycle of awareness of a fully open and activated in a penal gland that is able to benefit you in your state of awareness and consciousness in connection to source and your path. Don't be in such a rush to have every single thing towards your process of awakening or towards your process of knowing. It's going, it's already yours. There's nothing else that you have to do except learn. You don't have to take supplements unless you want to, to help you feel a little bit better. You don't have to, because your process is going to bring you strength, bring you vitality, bring you that sense of being together. We are not sluggish, because by opening your penal gland at the rate that it is supposed to be open, it means that you are developing all the hormones. Because the pineal gland is connected to the pituitary, which is going to connect all of the other organs within your body that develops hormones. That brings you back online to your divine DNA, your divine blueprint. It's yours. Stay still. Stay present. And in time, it will all be yours. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.